BPM, Business Process Monitor, is an EUM end-user management tool that runs pre-recorded scripts representing your key business processes against your business applications to proactively identify performance and availability problems. BPM provides a solution that addresses the application owner's concerns around application availability and performance monitoring by proactively finding availability and performance issues before customers do, actively monitoring from multiple locations, reducing end-user outages by proactively monitoring performance and availability trends, leveraging Load Runner ViewGen scripts, supporting a broad range of protocols, technologies, and environments, and automatically and dynamically calculating the performance and availability of thresholds. So what is a transaction? A transaction is delineated by a start or stop point within a script. It may contain multiple sub-steps or interactions by the end user, multiple clips or web pages, for example, or just a single user interaction. These transactions are then uploaded to BSM, where a schedule is set to run the scripts created with ViewGen. Utilizing BSM's ODB, an administrator can create a model in a view based off these scripts and also add other monitoring CIs to the view. When the view is saved, a completely dynamic dashboard view is created, displaying the status of the monitored environment. Reports can be generated based on these views. Under Applications EUM, a client has numerous reports that can be generated detailing the status, availability, and performance of the website or application. The first report that we are going to look at is an application health report. An application health report displays synthetic and real user data. This report enables you to see the general status of selected application and view different aspects of its performance, availability, load, and impact on the end users. The second report we will look at is a triage report. This report displays synthetic and real user data. It displays BPM transaction data organized by location for a selected period of up to 72 hours. Data in the triage report includes a transaction breakdown graph as well as graphs showing error data. The report also includes information about the health of the transaction scripts running at the various locations as well as indicators for the health of the BPM data collector. The third report we'll look at is a BPM response time by percentile report. A response time by percentile report displays synthetic data. This data defined by the specific time range shows the specific response time value that all measured response time values are equal or below for the 10th to the 100th percentile. This data helps you identify response time problems and pinpoint their source. The data enables you to determine whether the highest or lowest response times are not typical of the response times in general. The final report we will be exploring is a BPM error summary. This report displays summary data about the transaction errors that occurred during an application's runtime in BPM over the specified time period. The data is displayed to show different aspects of the errors and enables you to drill down to view a particular aspect in more detail, such as for one location or one transaction. Since not all errors cause transactions to fail, the error summary report includes errors for transactions that completed successfully as well as those that failed.